glory to you all and welcome to another schematics trailer analysis video i'm billy mf maze once again joined by the fantastic and the industrious blind irl and Atso. say hello guys uh, hello Hi. and i'm trying not to die <laughs> hey guys and today we're going to be looking at a game called workers and resources soviet republic developed by three division we're going to look at the trailer in normal speed and we'll be right back with you guys in just a moment do 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 And welcome back. We're going to watch this glorious footage at half speed, and we're going to look at every little thing that we can find from this trailer. So My vodka is ready. Three Division, the makers of foosball and low-budget plane games. It's the best game you've never played. No, seriously, these guys have made a lot of foosball games. So just looking at this game from the outside, it definitely looks like a transport tycoon game. They call it basically like an all-around tycoon mm -hmm. city builder. Just looking at it from a distance and looking at screenshots and stuff of the game, um, it looks very much like a uh, kind of your transport fever derivative, um, which means graphics aside, games look game looks kind of muddy, but the gameplay is all going to surround around balancing and the number of resources you have to transport um, and just how well the game works. Um, so basically everything else here is more or less irrelevant as far as gameplay goes. I love this, the, the tone of the game so far or the trailer so far. It's so not how it was... <laughs> Like oh this poor uh, he he's come uh, he's, he's very optimistic Europe countries but Mother Russia is here to save you. Well, it's just very optimistic, which yeah, the history tells a completely different story. But maybe that's the important thing when you go into a game like this, um, just not having to be so laden with despair. Because if you're just having to look at something that just is dismal for too long as you do in a game like this you're just gonna be miserable the entire time and put it down pretty quickly yeah uh let's pause at right at the bus stop at like 54 seconds okay so like you can immediately notice which buildings you're going to be pl placing down manually yourself because if you look at the detail on the buildings in the background just the houses and whatnot they all look kind of bland and then this bus stop has like 20 to 40 percent more detail than everything else around it i have the feeling uh that's going to be the sort of stuff you're going to be placing around and most of the gameplay is going to sur like surround uh setting up routes at least in this case for buses probably getting workers to and from workplaces as well as uh, just where they need to get to various housing I'm units. I'm honestly not entirely sure because it says um, you're working off the five-year plan and the five-year plan 
is not only for your economy but only uh, also for your living conditions so i'm i'd say you're building it all yourself it could just be a case where the uh the residences are just maybe not finished yet you know they just got some placeholder in there just for right now and they but they managed to finish the uh, bus stop work in progress footage i did say that at the beginning shall we continue i am really curious about this game you know like uh Visually, it does look kind of muddy, but there is a lot going on here in this trailer that really makes me curious. The, especially like yeah, the factories. Setup. It looks kind of complex, honestly, because you have your mine shaft, and then you have like the transportation over to yeah. the factory, and uh, in yeah, the background we have transportation. I think as well. It's hard to tell what it is, honestly. I mean, it, it looks visually complex, but at the end of the day, it is just node, path, node, path, node, path, right? Yeah, but it's more like just plopping down a factory done. Yeah, it, there's a lot more to it than just placing a building. You're going to be placing a building and then do so doing something with said building after that. I feel like with a lot of games within this genre, they struggle with complexity outside of, okay, you place a building down, now just ignore it because all you need to do is just place that building down to service an area and then you move on. It's nice to see just a little bit more of a, hey, you have to manage it a little bit more. You can make it more efficient. You can use it as a new feature for gameplay instead of mm. just a set and forget asset. You know, as much as I like to talk smack about it, um, SimCity 2013 did something really right with the building customization. And I think a lot of other city builders could do to learn from that one mechanic. Let's move on. Let me get to zoom out and get a better look at the factories. Still just the same shots, though. More factories. Aha. Most efficient way, transport. I, I've, I'm worried about this game. I'm worried that it's too ambitious for its own good, you know? Yeah, you, you have a lot to kind of ma uh, to develop for. And a lot of, uh, like, how many resources do you need to focus on in this game? You know, you have your, your raw metals, of course. But then, you know, as we're probably going to get into just very shortly, we're going to get... Yeah. Uh, some food from farms some lumber you know and at that point you you might just kind of overbloat your game a little bit because mm. to the point where you can't develop it all uh, as it's just too much and maybe you can't devote enough time to each and every single system yeah and yeah, we've got oil there as well yeah, and maybe you can't like get them to be cohesive enough to like work together um but i'm still optimistic to see where this goes yeah definitely well, I'm optimistic, but I'm concerned. Um, I think that the the low quality visuals are probably one of the reasons why oh, this game's probably got a lot of complexity going on under the hood here. Yeah, it could be. So you make the game visually cheaper so that you can... Like, that's it's just what the game's like Factorio, right? The game is mm -hmm. visually simple so that they can do a lot under the hood. Same with games like RimWorld or even games like the like Open uh, TTD, Open Transport yeah. Tycoon. You know, it's very visually simple, which allows for a lot of under the hood mechanics. And hopefully this is able to pull off the under the hood mechanics while still being fully 3D. Could we pause 152? There's a thing that I kind of like. You have... First of all, your, your bus is standing in the middle of your construction site. But I kind of wonder if you need to transport workers to the construction site of buildings. One thing I'm wondering about here is how much of this is automated. Yeah. And how much of it is us sent, like setting routes, right? The thing I'm wondering is about that. And uh, can you build buildings if you don't have like for example, the, the needed resources. Yeah. Because it's a lot about resources here. Workers and resources is the name of the game here. <laughs> Indeed. And I can imagine it's a case where if you run out of resources, or buildings will probably cost resources as you construct them, and if you mm -hmm. run out, the construction will just pause, and then that's usually how it works in the real world, right? Yeah. You know, oh, we ran out of money or resources to build this, uh, to build this shopping mall. Well, here's going to be the dilapidated ruins of the construction project for like 10 years until we get around to doing something yeah. with it. Yeah. Um, a lot of cases like that. I think one thing that I worry about with this game is, you know, kind of it's in its advertisement. It's advertising itself as a game. But is it actually going to play like a game with a series of like missions and objectives and challenges where you actually have to apply the mechanics and your knowledge of them to accomplish a goal? Or is it just going to be a simulation where it's like, hey, just do as good as you possibly can. We didn't really want to make a game. We just put some mechanics together and we're just going to see how I mean, it goes. Isn't that City Skylines one of the most popular city builders ever? It's, it's almost every single management game that has come out in like the last four years. And I feel like it's just kind of waning on me a mm -hmm. little bit. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, we can unpause. I don't know if if a game like this necessarily needs a campaign. I've never... Like, I find myself skipping campaigns in games like this, too. Um, I, I think it depends on the game, really. If your game is balanced around a campaign, okay, give me a campaign. If your game is balanced around randomly generated maps, I would rather have something like that, or pre even pre-designed maps with a map editor. I'd rather have something like that than, like the oh there isn't enough here problem as some other recent games that have released i think it doesn't necessarily need a campaign but it does need something in terms mm. of challenges and goals um i'm sure because otherwise you just be a little too aimless right i'm sure there'll be challenges and goals you know things like oh we'll maintain your city get this far through you know mm. is it going to have credits i don't know necessarily um but uh, it's also not too difficult to just have like like let's go back to SimCity 3000 for example like it, that game didn't have a campaign per se but it had a selection of preset scenarios the mm. the scenarios kind of play either as a tutorial I mean even Factorio has that it's they have a in quotes campaign but it's just a selection of maps where some stuff is pre-built with some text in in advance and then they're like okay go and then once you're done playing through all this you know enough to play the real video game I think what I'm mainly looking for in this in this case is like it doesn't have to be a strict campaign or a set of scenarios but if the maps are varied enough to challenge you in different ways because mm -hmm. you know a situation like in city skylines as it was mentioned earlier um the maps don't really challenge you in your way of managing your infrastructure or managing your city they look pretty but at the end of the day you more or less manage your cities in the exact same way unless you're going for an intricate design but you it, the game doesn't kind of tell you or guide you to go in that direction you have to put those restraints on yourself and it'd be kind of nice to see the game be designed rather than just you know having the player to just focus on making the game happen mm, instead of it just being a simulation engine essentially yeah gotcha right with you there agreed well thank you guys for joining me with talking about workers and resources soviet republic uh you guys have an excellent day and we'll see you guys in the next video bye thank you very much for watching cheers so long